Bonjour à tous et à toutes, je suis Tenko et je suis ici pour vous présenter l'épisode 7 du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur. Alors la dernière fois nous nous étions quittés... Oh. Ah, désolé, je viens de faire tomber le, de faire tomber le, clavier. le clavier. C'était un imprévu mais c'est pas grave. Donc je vous disais, la dernière fois nous nous étions quittés sur le... sur le moment où nous avions remis la citation à comparaître à Arthur McFly. Et donc euh, il a été obligé d'aller de, donner des preuves euh, au palais de justice euh, contre Kid Tannen, euh, ce qui n'est pas une très bonne chose pour Arthur McFly bien sûr. Hein. Kid Tannen euh, n'est pas du genre à faire dans la dentelle. Mais bon, c'était le seul moyen de convaincre euh, Doc, le jeune Doc, de terminer sa foreuse à percussion. Maintenant il nous manque plus que l'alcool. Donc pour récupérer l'alcool, euh, il va falloir faire encore 2-3 trucs. Donc je vais aller à la soupe populaire. Et mettre monsieur partout. Hey Cubo. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of uh soup. Soup, soup. Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Alors, pour pas perdre de temps, je vais tout de suite aller là-bas. Ah oui, donc là, regardez. Voilà. Il y a un ascenseur caché qui permet de transporter... Euh, comme, vous vous en, comme vous vous en doutez, c'est de l'alcool, bien sûr. Donc ça, ça, ça permet de transporter l'alcool directement dans la cave. Donc la soupe populaire sert de réseau euh, de contrebande d'alcool en gros. Donc là. Bon bien sûr il n'y aura pas moyen d'entrer. Donc là évidemment je vais demander à Emmett. Huddle up Emmett. Huddle Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Voilà, donc on peut faire confiance à Emmett, il fera ce qu'il faut. Excuse me. You talking to me? Je peux goûter un peu de soupe. Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... De la poudre de piment rouge. Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? 
No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Oh, no. Eureka! Ahem. Ouais, il est trop occupé, donc on en profite. Voilà. Ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Elle a pris le barrel de hooch. Maintenant, tout ce qu'il faut faire, c'est de le prendre de lui. Bon, bah voilà, Marty a dit ce que j'allais dire. Bon, bah allons-y. Donc, ça va pas être bien compliqué. Hein. Il suffit de lui parler un petit peu. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. <laughs> What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Hmm. Ouais, donc là pour le moment, je dois rien faire de particulier, sinon je vais perdre du temps, donc on va parler de ça. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit! Of course, I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know, 
Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? No, he's not Brown. The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Alors voilà, maintenant j'ai plus qu'à lui demander de distribuer de la soupe. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Sonny! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're so sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. On peut toujours mettre des bouchons d'oreilles. So get your dad a pair of earplugs. I can't tell my father to wear earplugs. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh yes. I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. You worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Hop, je vais mettre pause ici parce que la cinématique va durer encore un certain temps donc euh, le mieux c'est que je mette pause ici et puis je vais enchaîner sur l'épisode suivant donc je vous remercie d'avoir regardé ma vidéo et à bientôt pour le prochain épisode du walkthrough de retour vers le futur